My apologies, sir. We are not ready to open at this time. Oh, come on. I want to say, see some booty shaking. I practice every second I can. It's the only way I'll become the best. You know what? I hope you get your dream. One can only wish, right? Gotta stay sharp, though. Lifetime bands a lifetime ban. Maybe the breeze will sober you up. So I just need to wait for a little water. She ought to be. Even if you love the artist, you don't need more than one copy. I bet you're going to count. Let's see, where am I going? You're not allowed to see me at work. But there's something I wanted to give you. You can't be here, bro. Just go home. How can you talk to me like that? I just Hmm. She wants him. I swear, all men are dogs. Got that one. Not all of us. Oh, the music got a little different. Talk about a busy day, huh? But what do you say we go? Mm -hmm. See the sign out front? All I got is materia. You look like a fucking like you're gonna sell me drugs. Thanks, buddy. Bean popcorn here, shaped like everybody's favorite chocobos. Get them while they're hot. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, hold on, there's, there's a sideway here. Ooh. familiar song right here. Looks like someone's been eating all the food. I'm reading some books too. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Hmm. Let me guess. First time in Walmart. Kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me then? Can I go inside? Damn it, Aerith! Maybe, but you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute. Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Homely. Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <laughs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're going to need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. Okay. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madam M over at the massage parlor. Huh. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Hmm. I'm talking. If you're hell-bent on getting in, then go bother the trio. Alright, well that's easy enough. Where are you at? Guess we got a trio to go bother, I guess, huh?
Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. <laughs> Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! God damn it, Johnny. <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Johnny's an idiot. Choke of a Sam. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Crawl into a hole and die! Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram! Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa. She's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know. He might pick me. <laughs> Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Oh, man. Um. Tails. Tails. Ed, you lose. Bullshit! Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, not just a Mio. Now skip daddle. <laughs> Wait. See that coin. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Yup. Heads? Heads. Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Yeah, it is. Damn it, man. Is this place supposed to go down like this? I think so. Just let me handle this. Andrea. You wait out here, okay? Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Alright, well, we're gonna go in there and we're gonna... Where's Johnny? What's up, Johnny? I mean, shit. <laughs> What's wrong, Johnny? I mean, shit. <laughs> Too many girls in there? Wow. <laughs> Hello, nurse. <laughs> Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market. The Honey Bee Inn. Mm. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, <laughs> we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. 
Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes, well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Oh no, we're not done here. I'm sorry that I couldn't be of more help to you. At least you're nice. It cost a small fortune, but it'd totally be worth it to see her smile just once. This is gonna be amazing. I can't breathe. I'm so excited. I can't breathe. See if she can help me. I practice every second I can. It's the only way I'll become the best. Definitely not. You're not helping, that's for sure. Gotta stay sharp, though. Lifetime bands a lifetime ban. Come on. Oh, stop going, screaming. Oh, shit. You done pissed her off. Piss her off. Oh, hello, nurse. Again. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. Yes. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> <laughs> And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Oh. And you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Ugh, oh. uh. oh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Well, you were cute. Now you're just a bitch. Hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. She might want to massage you. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! Oh. The strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Yeah. Just saw him. You okay, take the love off. Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So. Which course will it be? Cor course? What? Well, we're just gonna do the poor man's course, cause I'm a broke bitch. <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Um, Cloud? I'm, uh, sure gonna be I your man. I you. This technique has certain risks. Huh? It's somewhat experimental. You may find it extremely pleasurable and rewarding. Or the opposite. Wait. Absolutely not. You asked for this. Now take it like a man. <laughs> My jaw is dropped. <sighs> Everything hurts. You'll enjoy it more next time. 
do come again. Why would you do that? Why would you pay for that? How was it? Not now. Maybe not ever. Did something happen to you in there? She put my hand places. Just, just give me a sec. Just one? Where are you? Maybe a few minutes. Oh, I'm playing as Earth now. <laughs> hey, bitch. Hey. Think you'll make a habit of it? Alright then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. Okay. Well, I guess we're doing this. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But... You cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Mm -hmm. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? <laughs> it looks comfortable. It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. Oh, I like so long wearing. as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Ooh. Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes. For the person who got you in. So, what do you say? Alright. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. Okay. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. Well, let's do this. You just broke my hand. I don't want to know where you put it, but or what you did with it. But I'm just gonna go in here and relive my agony. I've seen things here. I've seen so many bad things. Look at the masks. Remember, you are going to win me that money. That you're gonna give me the option of poor Keep man's. your filthy hands to yourself. Wait, what if I want to play with that? You're you're just a bitch. Right. My filthy hands what are gonna win me money. Nothing good. I wouldn't expect their fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence. Just. Don't get too cocky, okay? You lost? This is for spectators only. Really? Well, let me talk to you guys, please. This check-in is for spectators only. Okay, they're all they're gonna say the same all three of them are gonna say the same thing. This check-in is for spectators. Yeah. yeah, I get. I thank you. Thanks for that. I just wanted to make sure this check-in is for bullshit. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. Damn it, Eric! I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, Mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. All right, well, we'll do that. Hey, stop being here in the way, Aerith. Thank you, God. Found 
down, down we go. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? All the way to hell. I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? No. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. What if Earth is wearing a bra? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Hey, lovebirds, over here. Lovebirds. In the city that never sleeps, in the paradise of debauchery is in the pain and pleasure. Where your every desire can be indulged for the Scotch. right price. All must be a scene connoisseur in the pouch and bloodshed. We bid you the warmest of welcomes. Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond. They look like douchebags. Here in the Corneo Coliseum. Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gold. And there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents. Utterly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit black. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the kill and the okay. glory. And now, the long awaited adventure with the blood star feet will battle for your amusement. Pip on us! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes. And tonight's Corneo Time! That was a bit. This place is really something. That was a bit much, if you ask me. Like, they just opened the door just for that. You two, wait here until it's time. Alright, this seems fair. I'm telling you. Oh. Johnny. What's wrong, bro? Oh. <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries and well I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. Poor Johnny. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Oh, that's probably what they wanted me to do. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Okay. Please make your way to the gate. Please kiss your ass goodbye. We're in way too deep to back out now. All right, Johnny. Well, you go. I've never been more scared in my entire life. It's a mm -hmm. gift from Don Corneo. Drink it, and they say you'll be raring to go for hours on end. If I had... Maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. Uh, let's taste it. I wouldn't do that in real life. How is it? It's thick. But you like it so much you couldn't possibly share, right? <gasps> you just had sperm club. Oh, no.